And Ken, both you and I have reported extensively on Cash Patel from when he was working with Devin Nunes and they were leading the Republican led intelligence committee in the House side. The midnight run and all of that is rise through the government. He ends up under Donald Trump in the intelligence community with broad powers and then at the Pentagon, where he was on January 6th. So. I making key decisions. A diehard Trump loyalist, and all through those jobs, he was pushing to declassify information that he thought was favorable to Donald Trump's point of view on the Russia investigation and other things. And senior government officials, as you know, were resisting. And but the one thing that's not clear about any of this is there's no evidence that he had any role in any of the documents that ended up at Mar-a-Lago. He has said that Donald Trump declassified documents, unspecified documents, and it's pretty clear to me that the Justice Department wants to put him under oath and nail that story down one way or another, because they need to figure out whether there's any valid claim that Trump declassified anything. But it's not clear that he has knowledge about those particular highly classified documents that were found at Mar-a-Lago.